organisation with strong links to the suffrage movement formed only two months previously. Little did they know the sort of conditions that they would soon face in beleaguered Serbia or the fact that three of their unit would not survive the epidemics that were then raging across the country. In Serbia there are graves, monuments, ceremonies and street names dedicated to the memory of these brave stoic women. Intrigued by the story, I've spent a number of years studying this largely untold story. Determined the story should not be forgotten That's during the centenary of World War I. I know they don't, I mean, it always surprises me that when the application yes, form there was never a date of birth. It was a very nasty mm. little bug, which, when it gets in under the surface, thrives when there's no oxygen around. It's often well, I'm driven Carol in. Perry, by and I'm the library and heritage Shrapnel. manager here at the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Glasgow. And I first became interested in the Scottish Women's Hospital. Just three months after the organisation had begun, the, the women received telegrams from the French, Belgium, and Serbian embassies backing their proposals for frontline hospitals. By the end of November 1914, and to us it was going to be a wonderful adventure. Just that. Well, it was a wonderful adventure, but not in the sense which we had imagined. To understand and comprehend just how important the work of the Scottish Women's Hospitals was during World War I, dedicated to I had to visit Serbia, it was built in 1915, near where the hospital was located. Such was the gratitude of the Serbian people. The fountain was built by the townsfolk, while Elsa Engels and her units were saved. The bombardment has begun. The guns started at 5am this morning and have gone steadily ever since. The noise is quite deafening and seems much nearer than it really is. The cemetery, um, and the, this is actually a, a cemetery for the typhoid victims. Else Engels took charge of the hospital here at Kragievac. The conditions in the city were just terrible. Thousands of wounded soldiers Everywhere had descended sight of and bodies lying at the side of the road. One large the contribution these women made was extraordinary. Today, the city holds an annual ceremony to remember the sacrifice they made. Okay, so we are sitting here in front of the grave of Dr. Elizabeth Ross uh, and nurses Lorena Ferris and uh, Mabel Beamer. November 1915, um, the Great Serbian Retreat began. World War I. The route took them from Serbia to Albania, Montenegro and down to the Adriatic Sea where the Allies would meet them with supply ships. A journey of hundreds of miles in freezing temperatures. Many of these poor Over souls lay down and simply died. Maginelle Fraser of Edinburgh was a Scottish and Great Britain champion lady golfer. Three months after coming to Serbia, she died of typhus. These were her final words.